Because every time I get on a plane or a train or, you know, a boat, I haven't been on a boat lately, but when I do get on boats and, you know, folks are like, what do you do? And I say, oh, I'm a math professor. What do y'all say? What do y'all say? Oh, I hate math. I hate math. Oh, let me tell you about that time. Oh, I hate, I hate, I hate. I'm like, why do I, I always invoke like, oh, oh, let me tell you. If I say I'm an English professor, you're like, oh, I loved my English teacher. She was just great. Oh, English, yay. Math, oh. All right, everybody goes to that negative math memory. And I don't like that. I don't want you to go there. I want you to go to something that makes you happy. So um, uh, I uh, authored the book Power in Numbers, The Rebel Women of Mathematics. They weren't really rebelling. They were just trying to like be a part of math, just like the guys were. One of the women that I highlight is Winifred Merrill. She's the first woman to get a PhD uh, in mathematics. And um, she really opened the door for women coming behind her. She got her PhD from Columbia University. And she had to petition the board uh, to be accepted to the program. So she had all the qualifications, but they were like, well, we've never accepted a woman before. And so she petitioned them and they finally agreed on one condition. It was that she... Uh, not be able to take classes with the guys. <laughs> so she got the syllabus and the book, and they were like, go forth and self-teach yourself, right? It didn't stop her. Um, she studied, she passed her qual, she did her research, she defended her dissertation. And she's like, great, finally. And the board's like, you know, I don't think we want to be the first one to give you a PhD. Like, we're just not trying to set that, you know, precedent. And so she had to do another formal petition to get the degree that she had rightfully earned, rightfully earned. So finally, they, they relented and said, fine, I guess we'll be the first to award a woman a PhD in math. It was noteworthy. Uh, it was written about in the New York Times. Notice what they said. Uh, according to the New York Times, she was modestly dressed in a walking dress of dark brown stuff trimmed with velvet of the same material and wore a brown chip hat, which had, which had a pompon of white lace and feathers. I want you to be the first person to get a PhD in something. And the article's like, yeah, but what did he wear? What kind of suit was that? Was that dress? Was that couture? What, what did she have on? Okay. Another woman that gets highlighted in the book is Katherine Johnson. And um, one of my goals in, in writing this book was um, thinking about women that I would have learned to, lo to learn about when I was growing up. Uh, you know, I was fortunate to go to Spelman and, and see all these amazing women mathematicians, but I really would have loved to know them in middle school and high school and even in elementary school to have seen these images and these amazing women. And so the book is, um, you know, much more, it talks about their contribution, but just also about their life and these beautiful images and who they were and how they contributed to society. It was so amazing to me to be able to look through because when you look at all, you know, the control room pictures, you see all the men, you know, you rarely see the women who were really working tirelessly in the background during the space race. Uh, and yet they, their lives, they stake their lives on Katherine Johnson's calculations. And so it was really beautiful to be able to see that. Another one of the women uh, that I highlight is Eugenia Chang. She's a, a you know, modern day sort of mathematician and, and she's really made it part of her life's work uh, to get the message out about math being creative and fun and exciting. Here she is with Stephen Colbert on the Stephen Colbert Show. Um, and so I think these are images that not just bring you know, women and girls into the field, but just show the diversity of mathematics, the excitement of mathematics and the way that we can really contribute to STEAM in general.